Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about the Stride game engine, because Stride 4.2 was just released. There aren't a ton of updates to this engine, so each one is pretty big news. What you see in front of you, this is Stride, uh, specifically this is Stride 4.2, as I mentioned. Uh, this guy was just released yesterday. Uh, this is a free and open source C-sharp game engine. It started life as the Paradox engine, which, as you may be able to guess, there are a lot of things called Paradox out there, especially another game company called Paradox, so that was branded to Zenko. Now Zenko in turn was open sourced and now we have Stride. As you can see, there is a full editing environment for Stride. It is quite nice to work with. Now, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail of how you actually use Stride uh, simply because I actually just did a full in-depth tutorial on how to use Stride. I will show you that in just a bit. But when uh, Unity did their uh, problems, I did a, a list of game engines that are a good landing destination for Unity developers and Stride actually as being, again, free open source uh, um, and full editing environment, nice editor you see in front of you, and of course C Sharp base. Now one of the big things about Stride 4.2 is the addition of uh, the new um, C Sharp support, .NET uh, 8 as well. We'll get to the release notes in just a second. As you can see here, it is a component-based game engine. Uh, I will show you a tutorial exactly how to use it. Nice things about Stride, uh, again, it's free. Uh, unfortunately, the editor is Windows only, but you are able to create games for uh, Linux, iOS, Android, etc., as, as well as UWP, which allows you to get onto the Xbox console. Um, the editing environment is quite nice. The object importers are quite nice. If you want to learn more about Stride, it is available at stride3d.net. The key thing about this guy is this is, uh, I did not mean to click Discord. Uh, let's go to GitHub instead. This is an open source project. It is under the MIT license. Uh, it is also uh, quite actively developed. So you, you will find there is a decent community behind Stride. As you can see here, they've got 113 contributors. So it doesn't um, you know, compare to Godot in terms of community size, but there's definitely a community behind Stride. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and check that one out, as I mentioned, it is MIT license. In terms of features and functionality, well, let's actually let them go and brag about what they've got. And then we'll get into the details details of Stride 4.2. So the big thing, obviously, is it's got that full editing environment. There's also a couple of uh, cool projects to get you started. So there's Starbreach and then the drone example I showed you very, very briefly earlier on. Those are both available. Uh, you have a compositor, basically, uh, think of uh, Unity scriptable rendering pipelines, except for you do this visually using um, this building block system there. It does have support for nested prefabs. There is a UI editor. By the way, you can do 2D, as you can see from the sprite editor, as well as 3D. You got full curve editor in there the full functioning scene editor, advanced graphics functionality, including a PBR-based workflow, multi-threading, next-gen graphics API support, access to low-level APIs, including DirectX 12 and Vulkan. You have light probes, PBR materials, particle systems, shader language there. So this is written on top of HLSL. Uh, so they've got their own hybrid shading uh, language that abstracts you away from the underlying language there. Uh, post effects support. Um, it's got C sharp scripting, scene scripting, full physics, navigation, multi threading, animation. It does work with VR. There are VR samples available. Uh, it does also have async scripting, so you can do synchronous and asynchronous scripts for doing your game logic. Your logic is added as C sharp scripts. You have tight integration into Visual Studio, including an actual Visual Studio plugin. So those are the top level, I guess, highlight features of Stripe. Now let's get a little bit into the 4.2 release notes. So again, 4.2 was just released. Uh, this has been a while since 4.1 was released, so what do we get in this particular release? We get .NET 8 integration, so now fully aligns with .NET 8, um, harnessing improvements and efficiency gains for game development, which means faster execution times, reduced memory footprint, and access to the latest C Sharp features. Speaking of which, you also get C Sharp 12. So with C Sharp 12, Stride users can write cleaner, more concise code thanks to new language features, improvements, reduced boilerplate, and enhanced readability. On top of that, they changed asset imp binding to the silk.net that asset imp Asset Imp is the underlying open source project they use for importing in, you know, OBJ, FBX, Blender, etc. files into it. Uh, so this transition uh, move not only simplifies the code base, but also paves the way for asset compilation on non-Windows systems, broadening Stride's accessibility. So hopefully this means, again, moving to other platforms going forward. Uh, Migration.net 6 and more. Uh, so Stride's commitment to stay current with .NET versions continues, ensuring compatibility and leveraging the stability and features of the latest .NET environment across all aspects of the engine. Uh, enable multiple profiler consumers and add a timeline tracer profile. Enhancement includes a profiler with Chrome tracing output format. 
specifically improves the debugging and performance tuning uh, process by allowing for a more granular analysis of the game's performance, uh, added support for F sharp and VB project types. So if you do not want to work with C sharp, you could also work with F sharp, which is Microsoft's functional programming language, as well as Visual Basic, which I'm actually kind of surprised to hear is still around. Visual Basic these days, visualbasic.net, is basically a syntactic sugar on top of C sharp to make Visual Basic people happy. Uh, but yep, yeah, that support for those two languages in there now as well. The Stride Diagnostics Analyzer and OpenVR handle custom resolution specified by the user through the VR settings. And we got some improvements in the editor as well, including dynamic snapping for selected objects, animation stack selection for FBX imports, and automatic asset copying to resource directories. And we have a much more detail of all the various different changes, bug fixes, and so on in this particular release. But in a nutshell, that is Stride 4.2. What has changed there? Again, I did not go into much detail of what Stride is all about because I Back in the end of September when, you know, Unity did its things, I did a rundown of Godot, Stride, and various different other game engines for Unity developers. Uh, and basically, I walked you through all the various different aspects of Stride, what you need to know to get up and starting. So basically, this is uh, a hands-on getting started with Stride tutorial, uh, but from the mindset of a Unity developer. Even if you've never used Unity before, though, this should give you a good inset into exactly how to work with Stride, how to bring your objects in, how your game logic is scripted and so on. So if you're interested in learning Stride, start there. Uh, and then I've also linked to uh, some of their other resources and their documentation. They've even done a uh, blog post on uh, Stride for Unity developers as well. So if you want to pick up and start learning Stride, once again, it is available at stride3d.net. Uh, it's one of the more mature open source game engines out there. Obviously, uh, Godot takes up a lot of the oxygen in that space. You have uh, new projects like O3D, etc. But in terms of open source Unity-like game engine stride. There is a reason why I covered it in that video. This is a good alternative for Unity developers. Obviously, it is much smaller in scope, um, but it is a robust and mature game engine. It's been around for a very long time in a variety of forms. And as you can see from the 4.2 update, it is continuing to get new features. And obviously, C Sharp is very core to this experience. So if you're a C Sharp developer, stride should definitely be one you consider checking out, especially again, because it is free and open source. So let me know what you think of Stride in general, of the 4.2 release specifically, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.